The great silent grandmother gathering has inspired us. A busboy who worked in a cafe, whose window faced the public park, noticed that two grandmotherly looking women had been standing in the park all day without moving at all and without talking. They were dressed up in their Sunday best and were just staring at the town hall. He asked the other patrons in the cafe what they thought those women, women were up to. They speculated on a variety of things. Then a five-year-old who was in the cafe spoke up and said, one of them is my grandmother, and I know what they're doing. They're standing there to save the world. All of the men in the cafe hooted and howled and laughed. On his way home, the busboy decided to ask the women what they were doing. And sure enough, the answer was, we're saving the world. Over dinner that evening, the busboy told his parents and, and then his father howled and hooted and laughed, but his mother was quite silent. After dinner, the mother called her best friends to tell them. The next morning, the busboy looked out of the cafe window and the two women were back, along with his mother, her friends, and the women who'd been in the cafe the day before. All were standing in silence, staring at the town hall. Again, the men hooted and howled and said, you can't save the world by standing in the park. That's what we have armies for. And everyone knows you have to have banners and slogans to save the world. You can't do it by just standing in the park. The next day, the women were joined by the women who were in the cafe the day before and a number of their friends. This brought the local newspaper reporter to the scene. He wrote a derisive article about the women. The day after it appeared, hundreds of women showed up to stand in the park in silence. The mayor then told the police chief to make the women leave because they were making the town appear to be foolish. They didn't, when the police chief told them they'd have to disperse because they didn't have a permit, one of them responded, we're just individuals uh, standing in the public park and we're not giving speeches or having a demonstration, so why would we need a permit? The police chief thought about this and agreed and left the park. At this point, 2,223 women, including the mayor's wife, the police chief's wife, and a five-year-old girl were standing in the park to save the world. The news quickly spread and soon women were standing all over the country. The story ended with women standing in every country throughout the globe, standing to save the world. <laughs> We can make that into nonfiction. Um, oh. Now, lift up your head, lift up your voice. Lift up your heart, let's make a choice to share the love and share the grace and spread it out upon this place.